So after 30 years of working, grinding every day, putting money away so that you could have this special day to retire. Why did you do that? Today, we're going to talk about retirement wise. Hi, my name is Emlyn Miles Manningly, founder and CEO of Gen Next Wealth, a retirement planning firm focused on helping people enjoy their retirement years. So a lot of times when people are going through retirement, right, and they're getting ready to retire, you think about all the things that you've sacrificed during this time. And this is what I really want to start with, the sacrifices that you made every month, whether you were making payments into your 401k plan, right, whether you're making in deposits into any type of retirement account, you were foregoing that instant gratification to do something later. There was a why on later that you wanted to make sure that you took care of a few different things, whether it was your family, whether it was to spend time with your friends, whether it was to do more traveling, whether it was to start a second career, whatever that may have been for you. I want you to really focus on the why, right? Because what happens when we stop doing things, when we stop working, sometimes we get depressed. And I think we get depressed and we stop because we've identified with who we were at that workplace for so long that we forget the why we even saved, the why we wanted to stop working, what we were going to do after work was over. And I think if you really sit back and, and think about why you're retired, and not only the why you're retired, but what you have available to you now. And as we talk about a lot of different things, we talk about portfolio performance, we talk about life insurance, we talk about estate planning, we talk about taxes, we talk about all of these things. The thing that we don't talk about enough is you. And I think that what we do in this time of our life is so important because we've talked about legacy, we've talked about you know what we're gonna leave, we talked about all kinds of different things but we don't sometimes sit back and think about the why I'm doing what I'm doing. And, and I want to go back to that. I want you to think about that. When you started 20 years ago, 30 years ago, and you were taking those deposits and putting the money away, and you were making all the sacrifices necessary to be able to do something in the future, why did you do that? There's no answer to this question. I don't have the answer. You have to have the answer, but you have to have that real conversation with yourself around the why I did all the things I did to prepare myself for this time, right? And so what I'm saying is the why behind retirement is more important than your goals. The why behind retirement is more important where you're, than where you're going to live. The why in your retirement is more important than any portfolio return that you'll ever get. But if you don't take the time to focus on the why you did this, you'll never enjoy the retirement that you the way that you really could because your why was the driving force. And if the why was your family, then you need to make sure that you were intentional about the time you spend with your family. Case in point, one of the clients I had, I love to give client examples I talked about this client before, but we were sitting there and we were looking at his his portfolio. We were going through doing a review um, and and the performance was great last year. Uh, you know, last year's performance was 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 really good. Uh, so we we're going through that. And he kept asking questions like there was there was some uncertainty. And I, I asked him, I said, well, what's going on? What, what do you what is the what is what's on your mind? Because it seems like something is missing. Right. It seems like something is missing from uh, from your retirement at this point. And when I asked him that, he said, you know what? I saved all this money. Um, I have my kids. They don't live in town with me. Some of his kids were living out of state. And he said, one of the things that I wanted to do was I wanted to be able to take all of my kids on a trip somewhere and pay for everything. I wanted to pay for their flights. I wanted to pay for their hotels. I wanted to be able to provide with what I sacrificed to save. And I haven't been able to tell them that I haven't been able to communicate that with them. And, and it just really, it really bothers me that I haven't been able to do that. And so I asked him why he hadn't done it. And, you know, I'm a financial planner. I'm a financial advisor. This is what I do for a living. My advice to him was we stopped what we were talking about as it pertains to the investments in his account. And we talked about how he could plan that vacation for him and his family to enjoy. His why was his family. And how he expressed that was through being able to spend more time with him. 
What is your why? I have another question for you. So when I ask my clients this question, and it's it's a question I didn't come up with it by myself. It's a it's a question that we like to ask to our clients. And the reason why we like to ask this question to our clients, because I think it really puts everything in perspective. Um, and and I've, you may have heard me talk about this before, but I'm going to bring it up again. And so you go to the doctor and now you're you're at the doctor and the doctor asks you. Or the doctor tells you rather that you only have 24 hours left to live. And, and when you say that, when I say that, people always, you know, they they, they have their things that they want to um, you know, I want to spend time with my family. I want to do this for my last 24 hours. But my question that I have on the follow-up question is who did you not get to become? You only got 24 hours left. So whatever you had to do that you didn't do in that time is never going to get done, right? You have 24 hours to live. Who did you not become? What did you not get to accomplish? Who did you not get to talk to that you wanted to talk to? And I'm asking you this now. These are rhetorical questions that I just want you to hear because I think that the why you retired is more important than what you do while you're retired. Because I think that sometimes in the in the hustle and bustle, in the in the goal setting, in the account performance, in the estate plan, in the funeral arrangements, in the you know the wedding planning or the birthday planning or whatever it is that you may be doing in this time, I think the most important thing gets lost. I'm not here to give you any answers today. I'm here to give you more questions than answers because I think if you're at this point in your life and you have made it through a working career, and now you're retired. Why did you do it? Why did you make those sacrifices? And if you're not living your life the way that you feel that you should be living it during this time of your life, why aren't you? What's holding you back from the connections with the people that you love the most? What's keeping you from traveling or what's keeping you from seeing the people that you want to do see what's keeping you from becoming the person that you wanted to become what's keeping you from donating your time to wherever you can donate it and and i'm saying this with love in my heart i feel like this was something that had just been on my mind and i just wanted to come bring it to uh people and ask the tough questions like you have 24 hours to live who did you not become what didn't you do? Who do you need to apologize to? Who didn't you get to become? Where didn't you travel? And these are all questions with no answers because only you can answer these questions for you and your circumstance. Another thing that I wanted to bring up is just how we go about really having this conversation with ourselves. I think that if you're watching this video and, and you've made it this far into the video and, and and you're sitting there and you're asking yourself these questions, I'm going to say, pull out a piece of paper, write down your why. Don't apologize for anything in there. Just write down your why. I might not sound the greatest. I want you to pick up a pencil and I want you to write your why. And when you write that why, go out and execute on that why. That's all I got. That's all I got. As you know, my name is Emlyn Miles Mattingly. I'm the host of this show here. Um, if you like this type of material, if you like this real raw material, where we're just going to ask you questions, please hit the like button, share it, subscribe. Let us know what you think about this. But this was something that I just had to get out. Why did you retire? Finding your retirement why. And it's not that you need to refine it. Sometimes you just need to be reminded of it. Remind yourself why you did this. Until next time.